Philippine resupply triumphs, defying China's radio threats with international law. The Philippines successfully delivered supplies to the crew of the BRP Sierra Madre, a grounded Navy ship serving as an outpost at Ayunjan Shoal. This mission, carried out on Tuesday, was confirmed by the National Task Force for the West Philippine Sea, signifying the nation's unwavering commitment to assert its sovereignty in disputed international waters. The routine follow-up rotation and resupply mission to the BRP Sierra Madre, LS-57, was successfully conducted today, August 22, through the combined efforts of the Armed Forces of the Philippines and the Philippine Coast Guard, stated the NTFWPS in a press release. The delivery of fresh provisions to the dedicated military personnel stationed aboard the BRP Sierra Madre underscores the Philippines' resolve to maintain a presence in the Ayunjan Shoal, a territory claimed by both the Philippines and China. Yet, the mission was not without its challenges. Videos captured by Agency France Presa revealed a Chinese Coast Guard ship closely tailing a Philippine supply boat, and Chinese Coast Guard vessels deliberately obstructing the path of a Philippine Coast Guard boat. Philippine vessel, this is China Coast Guard vessel 5305. China has indisputable sovereignty over the Nanshan Islands, including the Irene, and its adjacent waters since ancient times. In the face of these adversities, the Philippine Coast Guard firmly asserted its stance, invoking international law and the nation's exclusive economic zone rights. They answered the radio challenges initiated by their Chinese counterparts during the mission, emphasizing their lawful and routine maritime patrol activities within the Philippines' EEZ. In the spirit of humanism, we only permit your ship carrying food and other necessary living materials and the rotating personnel without construction materials to the illegally grounded vessel. Over. China Coast Guard 5305 at 9, 9 nautical miles northeast of Ayungin Shoal. This is Philippine Coast Guard vessel BRP Sindangan MRRV 4407. In accordance with international and Philippine national laws, you are within Philippine exclusive economic zone. Your actions will affect Philippines-China relations and will be reported to concerned authorities. Over. The exchange of radio messages took place near the Sabina Shoal, just 248 kilometers from Palawan, en route to Ayunjan Shoal, located 315 kilometers from Palawan. Both these locations are indisputably within the EEZ of the Philippines. However, China's radio challenges persisted. They opposed the transportation of construction materials for the repair of the BRP Sierra Madre, the stranded ship at Ayunjan Shoal. This vessel, manned by more than a dozen marines and sailors, has become a potent symbol of Philippine sovereignty within the disputed territory. The PCG remained steadfast, reminding their Chinese counterparts that they were well within the Philippine exclusive economic zone. They cautioned that China's actions could strain Philippine-China relations and would be reported to the relevant authorities. Despite these diplomatic tussles, the PCG held their ground, affirming their right to safe passage and urging the Chinese vessels to steer clear to avoid any collision. Notably, the PCG's resilience has drawn international attention and garnered global support. Jay Tariella, spokesperson for the PCG on the West Philippine Sea, remarked, The David and Goliath optics, every time we capture that photo, they are being widely condemned in different parts of the globe, so they now modified their style, they deployed smaller vessels. Adding to the tension, former U.S. Air Force official and maritime security expert Ray Powell disclosed that China had deployed four militia ships from Mischief Reef to assume blockade positions as Philippine ships made their way to Ayunjan Shoal. First of all, I think it's a very difficult thing to pull off, right? And you wouldn't be able to sneak it in, I don't think. So it would essentially be in China's face, and China would, I think, probably react pretty strongly to something like that. So I think that, you know... Um, it's more more constructive to be more imaginative uh, rather than simply doing the same thing again. The Philippine mission was escorted by Philippine Coast Guard vessels BRP Cabra and BRP Sindangan, ensuring the safe passage of supply ships Anaiza May 1st and Anaiza May 2nd.
As the Philippines continues to assert its presence in the disputed waters and stand its ground, the BRP Sierra Madre remains grounded at Ayanjan Shoal since 1999, symbolizing the nation's sovereignty and steadfast resistance amid rising tensions in the West Philippine Sea.